Hey folks, it's Amy here from Colorado Mountain Living. So we've had a really nice break with Lance visiting for spring break. He got to enjoy all the snow and Brian got a break from working on the house. They went skiing a couple of days and had a blast. So good timing for everybody with all that winter weather and snow fun. We got a nice little mental break and physical break from working on the house, but we're right back at it. This weekend, Brian is finishing up on the floor in the main section of the house. It's our last flooring project, pretty much. I mean, besides working on the shower, but this is the, the end of our flooring. And I'll show you a little bit in this video, kind of how we're getting started. There's three things that we need to go over. One is prepping the stairwell area. So I want to show you guys what we're thinking there was a previous video where we had our house plans and I'll put a link to that so you can kind of see the overall picture of what we're planning. But just as a photo, this is sort of the style of spiral staircase that Brian's thinking of. We had come across some fallen trees out of a storm and I'll put another video link to that as well because um, I'm not sure if you guys ever saw that video where we came across free wood. We had a giant tree come down last spring and we contacted the county to see if we could claim it. So we actually cut it up into several sections and moved it onto our property from the road. And we're gonna be using that tree to build our spiral staircase, build the treads for the stairs. So that's gonna be a big project that comes up after we get done with the flooring and everything. I think we'll finish up the bathroom first, but. Um, working on the staircase has been one of the projects that Brian's really looking forward to. So I want to tell you guys a little bit about how we had to prep the stairwell area before Brian got started on the floor. So we had to work on the staircase area first and make sure that cutout was completely lined up, which it wasn't. Initially, the, um, the floor joists and everything weren't 100% lined up with the timber cutout, the timber square above it. So Brian had to make sure that was all lined up before he got the flooring situated. So that was one thing and I'll show you more detail about that. And uh, he's working on prepping the area for the stove behind me. So he's kind of working around where the big stones are. He still has to mortise a few more or mortar a few more into place on the floor there. So working around that area and then just kind of like the closet areas as well. So there's just, you know, a few little details. We did have to move some of our temporary staircases around. In fact, the camera's sitting on one right now. So let me show you. So this is where the, the I was just had the camera sitting on this. So before the loft stairs were over here, where this is where the spiral staircase is going to go. But I would need to tell you guys about how we prep this. Initially, this was just a trap door, but Brian and there was a joist in the middle, and. Brian cut the whole thing out, removed the joist, and now we've got our area squared out for building the staircase. Also, we're looking into the trimming along the floors up here, along the beam. We're gonna be using angle iron. So all this inside of the square, along that beam, the top beam, and all along the, the square down here. So all this open area where the staircase is gonna be, we're gonna drop the flooring down the side so it covers up the joist and then the corner will be angle iron. A little bit of preparation had to happen before we get to the flooring. Lance is helping out here, grinding down one of the ridges in the subfloor. So Brian wanted to make sure that ridge was nice and flat before we started laying the wood planks down. And uh, that was right along one of the seams. So Brian's just making sure that we're peeling up the tape as well as grinding down the ridge. And the other project that had to get finished before getting the floor going was hanging the last fan. The fan that's like really high up. And Brian had to use the 32 foot ladder and he is currently uh, putting together a safety harness. So flinging that over the beam there and he's kind of clipped in with a safety security to uh, just in case of any falls. But he had to work on that, that fan for quite a while to get all the switches to work. What, what are you thinking about? <laughs> you took the trap door off for working on the... 
Well, the, the edge of the opening is supposed to be right here. So that straight down to there. So I need floor right there. That four inches mm. needs to be from there to there. Hmm. I don't know how to fix that. Why can't you just keep it done? I can cut a piece of floor from over there and move it over here. Yeah. And so I you have to put a joist under there. Mm. It's not very helpful in this big staircase. It's sitting right here. Well, can we move the staircase out of the way? It's not like we need to get up there. I'll just stick it over there for now. Mm-hmm. Take the round out and just drag it over here. Mm -hmm. That'd be easier. That way I can cut all this out. Right. Okay. So Brian is opening up the full size of the stairwell. Temporarily, we had a uh, trap door that went from the first floor to the basement, and he took the door off of that. And now he's opening up the flooring on the other side of the joist. The joist that you see is going to be removed. That was just a temporary joist put into place to kind of hold this part of the floor while it was solid before we even had the trap door, just to give us a platform to work on. But now that we're going to be developing the stairwell and the stairs, he's open and actually working on the floor. This has to happen. We have to get this all the way open to its eventual full size so we know what we're working with. So the tricky part is after Brian cuts it out is that he's realizing where the joists are on the edge of the square that he opens aren't, uh, there's still a little bit of uh, flooring that's overhanging. And so he's got to get a support for the overhang. So that's the puzzle that he's trying to uh, work out is trying how to fill in the overhang so it's got full joist support underneath. Oh, you had to like lift it and pull yeah. it? No. Oh. What's your other trick? Keep the joists from falling as you cut them out.
Now the stairs are more wiggly. See, now we traded. Those ones are wiggly and these ones are wiggly. What? Yeah, but this has carpet, so. Boom! Joist removed. Oh, we got this joist on. I missed that part. I said, boy, it looks like you, sh like, Got it really flush. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Sure did. Sure did. I guess you <laughs> put that, pop that in while I was making brownies. Okay, yeah. on this side? This side is different. We got, that was a nice perfect spacing. Uh, this one we've got four, four and five eighths inches. Mm. So what we're going to do is we're, we're just going to cut. Um, this. Okay. They go in between the joist, and then we we'll need to cut this down a bit, and then the other joist, right there. Uh huh. We'll go like that. Well, isn't that educational? Huh. Well. Drill it from the, from the back side of this one into this beam, so okay. it's a little short block, so we can really tighten that up. And then we'll drill the other one into there. Mm hmm. So, and then it'll be secured on the top as well, because they'll go through the floor. Right. And then what about the, uh, did you do anything on this back wall? Yeah, this one, I think I'm gonna, if I hand cut, if I cut this down, the half inch that I extended out because of the saw, because the saw doesn't cut close enough, mm -hmm. then it's exactly one joist. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna cut that down. So here's a little bit of a closer look at how the finished stairwell area is looking. You can see how the joists are all butted up against the edge of the floor. The, the reason why is because Brian wants to take the flooring and go over the edge and down the side to cover up the joists. So he's gonna continue the flooring in, uh, with extra planks that uh, finish out the inside of the stairwell as well. So let's take a look from below, and that way you can kind of see what it's looking like, the joists look like underneath. You can see how the joists are all right next to each other, surrounding the opening of the stairwell. You've got two on this side. You've got three over here with the blocking in between. Those are the blockings that Brian was just talking about. And then on the back side, you've got three as well. Um, so it, he's also got the blocking on the back side of the stairwell right here on this side. And then there's a couple on the other side and then the wall. So there's just a lot of support. But back upstairs, Brian's getting started on the floor already. He's rolling out the underlayment and getting excited to put some boards down now that every, the whole area is prepped and ready to go. But sometimes to get that tight fit, you've got to do a little trimming. So Brian's actually here with a chisel trying to remove a little bit of wood so he can get his boards to line up really flush. So he's just kind of getting a little bit, removing just a little bit of wood from the beam at the bottom there. I see what you did there. Mm-hmm. And there's our temporary safety rail. So very, very temporary, but just, you know, this hole's much bigger now and a little bit more dangerous you know, to avoid getting too close to the edge. So we've got a, got a railing here.
Another little project I'd like to finish up is finishing this side of the exposed beam that's in the kitchen area. And it's not finished on this side. So I'm going to work today on sanding it down, getting some of the paint off, and then finishing it. So I did this side already and it looks pretty good. So it's a cherry stain and just regular polyurethane on it. Looks way better than this side does. So I'm gonna work on this side today. Finish that up before Brian gets back. So I've got some leftover stain and urethane here from when we did the beams this summer. And it's a good uh, one third of a, of a gallon here. So I'm gonna use this to prep, to finish out my beams. Just gonna use an old sponge here I found in the, in the shed. So I don't have to get any brushes out. I can just throw this away. job right there you know it took me about five minutes just to get the little bit of paint off the beams and uh, stain and polyurethane it real quick so big improvement and now we can feel like this side of the kitchen is finished but uh, there's a little bit of stain I got on the wall I'm just gonna do some touch-up paint to to cover those spots Snowing out. <laughs> it's like heavy snow, right? I had it out of nowhere, yeah. Well, so our saw operations are outside now, and well, this is what you get in March sometimes. Right. Well, we're working away on the floor, got the fireplace going, everything's working out, except, well, it's just started snowing all of a sudden. We were supposed to get, you know, a little bit of a flurry, but it's really heavy. We already got the ground covered down there, and well, Brian's out there sawing wood. There's like a little tiny groove. It's a big H. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I can leave a good three eighths or more, mm -hmm. even a half inch of space will get covered up by the trim. Right. So that should be a big deal. So there's you know, we have plenty of room to wiggle. The only thing is here, I got to make sure it's tight right there. Mm -hmm. That's the only spot that's got to be really tight. There'll be some tricky things getting around all the cuts and the corners and the transitions. What we'll do for the tile is transition this with some grout in between. So I want to give you a picture of how the whole layout for the wood floor looks. It's the same hardwood floor that we put into the loft and it transitions into a little bit of the hallway and then the two closets on either side also have the hardwood. Now these aren't finished. I just cut the boards today as part of my homework. So I cut the lengths and this is the cedar uh, wall, cedar accent wall that uh, we had put in earlier. So that looks really nice in contrast with the dark floor. And then into the master closet, again, all these boards aren't nailed in. I just cut the lengths today and put them in, laid them out just for the sake of the video. And the cedar wall that I had put together, and then Brian did this little mini accent wall here after I cut the lengths of those boards as well. So we made the most of our cedar in any case. And then the dark floor, I think, is a nice contrast to all of it. But the only pieces we have left are the trim pieces uh, and then finishing out the stairwell. And I'll keep you guys updated on the stairwell. I think it's going to look really cool once it's all finished. We only ended up with three boxes of extra flooring. So we might just bring those back and return them to the store. 
unless we can think of some other creative ideas. But Brian's going to finish out the trim, and it looks pretty nice. I mean, it's hard to get the the perfect lighting, you know, when it's daytime, but it's a nice dark uh, pre-finished oak. And then here's our temporary stairs up to the loft here. They just kind of um, they're movable right now. And Brian left his harness up there when he installed the fan, so he's going to grab that later. But the whole look of the house is coming together pretty nice. Our last corner we got to work on is the area behind the stove. That is going to be ledger stone. It's looking good. So what do you think guys? How does the floor look? I know we still have some trim pieces to go and so everything in the closet really isn't nailed down right now. I just cut all the boards to length and put them in there to kind of give you the sense of it being finished. But Brian's gonna finish that up tonight. So we're really close now. You know, we can probably be thinking about putting some furniture in here because now the floor is done. We just have a lot of little, little projects to do. Besides the stone wall behind me, which is gonna be right behind the stove, that's kind of like a big project for this living room area. And then a couple of the bathroom projects, of course, the vanity and the shower are really huge. So, and, and then, you know, the stairwell, that's a giant project as well. So there's still some pretty big projects, but as far as livability in the house, having the floor done was essential. And we've got all those boxes unpacked and, you know, there's nothing in here now. There's not, it's not full of tools and it's not full of drywall dust. So it's definitely feeling more homey. It's still a little echoey and I don't think that's gonna go away until we get some furniture in here. So um, anyway, so that's kind of like the update for the house right now. And I think what we'll be getting into this week is a lot of little detail stuff, putting the cabinet poles on in the kitchen. Maybe we'll start tackling that wall behind the stove because uh, we've definitely got a dozen more boxes of ledger stone in the basement to get rid of, but we've got, this major thing behind us getting the floor done it looks fantastic and it is really pulling the whole look of the house together so we're psyched about that and the snow is melting like crazy outside it's 45 and sunny and actually really windy today so the power of those three elements is getting rid of the snow really quickly i actually saw some honeybees flying around a few days ago when it was 45 and sunny and they landed on the snow outside so they're trying to see what's going on but it's still winter to them because it's uh it's pretty snowy out but we've got a couple more days of 50 degree weather and I think it's going to get rid of a lot of snow hopefully it dries some things out I don't know we still got a pretty wet driveway and the roads are still pretty mushy around us so we still got a ways to go before we get some really drying out of the earth so before we get into our spring projects, I want to update you guys on our spring projects in another video, everything we want to tackle when the weather is nice. You know, once we get the inside of a house done, you're probably wondering if we're going to have anything else to do. We've got a lot of stuff to do, trust me. We've got a lot of plans for landscaping and working on the driveway and building a workshop possibly, maybe a greenhouse. I don't know if we'll get to it all this summer, but in any case, we will keep you updated with the next video. I'd love to hear what you guys think about the flooring and we will see you next time.